The planet Fondor plays a prominent role in Battlefront 2 in both the multiplayer and single-player story modes. The planet is only seen from space, and I've had a number of people ask me about its history, so that's what I'll be talking about today. I'll cover Legends history first because it's more extensive, and then I'll go into what little we know in canon. Similar to Coruscant, Fondor was covered with a single worldwide city. It was surrounded in space by orbital shipyards and docks. Heavily industrialized, the cities were full of factories, mine shafts, worker barracks, and office complexes for the planet's ruling guild of starship rights. By the time of the Galactic Civil War, it had a fairly small population of 5 billion beings, and most of the work done there was automated. It was technically located in the colonies region, but Fondor was so highly regarded, many people considered it to be part of the Core Worlds. The Fondorian people were nearly human, but had no hair and purple blood. Starship construction was always central to its development and economy. They were considered third best in the galaxy, outclassed only by Corellia and Kuat. Despite that, and the fact that most Imperial Star Destroyers were built at Kuat Drive Yards, the Empire contracted Fondor to serve as the primary construction site of the Executor-class Super Star Destroyer. They desired complete secrecy and closed off all non-military traffic to the planet. Honestly, the Executor's construction has a muddled history, and in-universe we can blame the Empire's secrecy for that, but Fondor, Kuat, and the Skarl system can all lay claim to being the construction site of the Executor at one point or another. Fondor's work on the Super Star Destroyer led to their involvement with other experimental Star Destroyers, including a dreadnought fitted with a cloaking device that was foiled by Rogue Squadron shortly before the Battle of Endor. After the death of the Emperor, Fondor quickly fell under the control of the New Republic, and the planet began producing capital ships for the new faction. That made them a prime target in the Yuuzhan Vong War, but the planet survived any attacks. It supported Corellia in the Second Galactic Civil War, and was the site of a massive battle. When the war came to a close, Fondor rejoined the Galactic Alliance. Jumping back to canon, the planet is still known for its orbital shipyards. However, it's been hinted that it was not as heavily industrialized until it fell under the rule of the Galactic Empire. If my interpretation of Battlefront 2's depiction of Fondor is correct, it still looks like it's got a city-wide planet. So far, Kuat is the only planet that can take any credit for the construction of the Executor, but like in Legends, it's possible we might learn in the future that at least some work was done on the ship at Fondor. The planet is one of the oldest Legends planets to be made canon. It was first created for the book Han Solo at Star's End by Brian Daly in 1979. It was brought into the canon thanks to the book Tarkin. Now I'm going to get into some Battlefront 2 story spoilers, so just in case you haven't played the campaign yet, this is your warning. In the campaign, very shortly after the Battle of Endor, Iden Versio and the rest of Inferno Squad are sent to retrieve some experimental new weapons from the Fondor shipyards. While they are there, the Rebels attack, but the weapons are successfully extracted. So Fondor's involvement with experimental technology is still a thing. It turns out those weapons are the satellite climate disruptors used in Operation Cinder. It's unclear right now whether or not Fondor was the sole producer of the weapon. But that's it for today. Hopefully now you know the history of Fondor. Are there any other planets you'd like to see me cover like this? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.